Hello and uh, welcome uh, to uh, Daniel Weekly number 19. I am back again. Oh, well, I should say that it is February 3rd. Um, I'm back again from Fostam this weekend. Uh, another great Fostam, I would say. Um, I met a bunch of uh, curl hackers. Probably more curl hackers united uh, at the same spot um, than ever before, at least to my knowledge. I, so uh, I met up with them and we had a good time, talked a lot about the curl and um, also met a lot of other old timers, you know who you are, from, from other projects way, way back in uh, through the years. Met a bunch of new friends too. I <coughs> did two talks. Well, I should mention that I arrived on the Friday already and of course I got the flight delayed and but I had a, got the chance to talk to a lot of Swedish friends at the airport before we, when we waited for the plane and then we got stuck in the traffic on the Friday but eventually we we got there and we got to enjoy a lot of good Belgian beer in the Friday evening and I got to see a lot, a lot of good talks during the Saturday and on the Sunday I had the first slot in the Mozilla Dev Room in the Sunday morning, 9 a.m., I had a talk I called HTTP2 right now. A 20 minute slot, and a 20 minutes is really hard to do talking, I think. It's, uh, I, mean, I mean, you can get a lot of stuff in, but 20 minutes is not that much, really. So, actually, both my talks were 20 minutes, and both my talks I had problems fitting in within those 20 minutes, so both kind of was a little bit too long, so I had to kind of rush them slightly towards the end. Uh, to, uh, annoying. I've posted both my uh, sl um, the slides from both my talks on my blog, and I'll, uh, if you can see them in those annotations thing on this uh, video. So go find them if you want to see them. Uh, both talks were recorded on video, so I'm, um, I'll, I'll let you know when they uh, come around. The, sometimes they take a while until they show up, so it May, might, not, <laughs> might not happen anytime soon. Uh, who knows? Uh, I think it was quite good attendance. I mean, the Mozilla Dev Room is fairly big. I think it's, there are like 300 seats. And of course, it wasn't packed, but uh, way, well over 100 people in the audience at least. And uh, I think there were less in the curl talk, but possibly also more people know about curl. And curl was more of a, this is my project talk. <clears throat> So uh, regarding then uh, regarding then H the HTTP talk uh, that I did first in the morning, I kind of just laid out the basics of what HTTP is right now, what kind of you know the quirks about spriting and inlining and, and, and uh, concatenating everything, and uh, and then uh, uh, how um, and sharding that's a kind of stuff that we do today with HTTP one dot one to overcome the problems with with the protocol really, and then a little bit about how HTTP2 actually works, binary multiplexed individual streams that are flow controlled and have priorities. Uh, so to kind of uh, fix those uh, problems. And then uh, I, I discussed slightly that I, I mentioned a lot of implementations. There were there are 29 or 30 or so mentioned implementations of HTTP2 on the, on the HTTP2 website. Um, notable exceptions. Uh, but exceptions. I would say notable uh, projects that are not included among, among those are Apache and Nginx and those are the ones I keep getting questions about but there are other servers with HTTP2 support if you want to play with it right now. Um, <clears throat> I then also mentioned that um, Firefox 35 has HTTP2 enabled by default and uh, judging by the numbers that that uh, well, and, I mean, if you're participating in the contributing back numbers effort within Firefox, you can see that nine percent of all HTTP responses says um, nine percent of them say HTTP um, uh, two, so that's a fairly high amount. And Google this Thursday last week, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, they saw uh, their out of their total global traffic, they had 5% HTTP2. And uh, I should say then that Firefox 35 that was released, it has it enabled by default, and Chrome 40 that was also released uh, a couple of days ago, it has it enabled by default, but only 2% of the users 
last week and they are, they are planning to ramp that up over time but still that those um, those browsers then and of course newer newer dev versions of all both browse, browsers will have that enabled too and that uh, is then five percent of google's total global traffic which incidentally is the same amount roughly uh, that they see uh, are using ipv6 and IPv6 then being uh, over 20 years ago since their first RFC was shipped. I know it's not a fair comparison, not at all, but still I get that, well, what about IPv6? It has proven that you can not deploy new protocol, protocols. So I, I like the comparison anyway, just because it shows that you can, at this protocol level, it's much easier to deploy a new protocol. It's not at all like the IPv6 case. Uh, I also, yeah, the fun part, I also got to say what HTTP2 is not, and I had to I show this, that HTTP2 is not mandatory TLS, and I managed to get some nice boos from the audience. That was fun. Anyway, that was HTTP2, and then I kind of had to recharge, and then I went back, and I got into the embedded room at 1 o'clock, and I talked about internet, all the things, curl everywhere, which basically was more of a, I, I talk about who's using curl today and curl is used in basically everything embedded devices from the little tiny boxes uh, like um, uh, I mean um, set top boxes blu-ray players audio equipment up to bigger things like TVs um, cars uh, and, and of course embedded in like um, Apple uh, portable devices like iPhones and iPads and, uh, and a bunch of Android phones too, and in, in Mac OS, and it's used very widely on, on super big sites like Facebook and Yahoo. So, which means that I kind of estimate the number of curl users to some vague, um, I mean, with some vague definition of what a user is to, to, to a billion or more users, but yeah, that's kind of counting open source usage, usage is really hard. And then uh, just th that first introduction, kind of bragging, I, I described slightly about the project. We're a small project, voluntary, uh, volunteers only, um, just a small core team. Most of the guys in the core team actually present in the room when I did the talk, and that was fun. And we're having uh, 30, 40 contributors in each release, each release every two months, and uh, that we're kind of not uh, run by any company. Of, of any sort and then I switched uh, gear somewhat and described how to use libcurl in your project how to do it in a blocking manner how to do it in a non-blocking matter uh, manner and how to uh, slight uh, uh, briefly about how to do it in an event-based way <clears throat> and I ran out of time and I'd made the last pieces really quick uh, that was about it that was about those two talks it was fun. I think they were received pretty well. It's always hard to tell. Um, but yeah, that was that. And uh, yeah, that was Fostum. Another great Fostum. I really intend to go there next year as well. And if you do, um, we can always meet up and have more talks. And I hope to hope to gather more curl people there next year too so we can do even more curl kind of communications and planning and just hang around and talk curl stuff so curl feature freeze for next release uh, started today basically we closed the, the window for new features so starting today we're only fixing bugs until the next release 7.41.0 which is supposed to be released on february 25 um, so fix them bugs right now uh, I checked just a while ago. I think we have 25 open bug reports in the bug tracker. There are a couple of more bugs in the mailing list. I have a, an, another few that I haven't told anyone that I'm working on as well. So we can really use your help to get that amount down. Some of the bugs are really um, hard to reproduce and hard to understand. So uh, we can use your help. I wanted to mention then that the the uh the last week's big talker that ghost attack get host by name uh, vulnerability that you could actually trick 
some um, tools to do something bad. I don't think curl is vulnerable at all, even if you build curl with uh, get host by name, um, which you don't do in any modern uh, system. Even if you do that, we actually kind of check for IP only addresses before using get host by name. So we should be safe from that vulnerability. As far as I understand, I haven't really, really dug into all the details, but but from what I've read from the descriptions of other uh, non-vulnerable uh, projects, I think we're good. Anyway, you shouldn't use those old um, system calls anyway. You should enable IPv6 and use get other info and those. <clears throat> uh, I also wanted to mention then uh, back to uh, HTTP2 that um, uh, our good friends in the Wireshark project have have also kind of polished um, the HTTP2 the sector more, so it's becoming better and better to actually dissect HTTP2 uh, out of the box. Because I tweeted last week that it to really get HTTP. The dissecting HTTP2 dissecting really good in Wireshark. You need to kind of disable uh, Speedy because it would rather pick Speedy instead of HTTP2 otherwise. And you could only disable Speedy, you can only disable Speedy in the GTK version of Wireshark and not in the Qt version. And Qt version is the default one when you build and run just the, uh, the Wireshark one when you build it from, from Git. So, um, Right, that's about HTTP2. And I know there are some other quirks still, but um, we're working on that, or I, I don't work on it. I'm mostly complaining and I'm, I'm, I'm helping out where I can and I'm, I'm trying to contribute a bit. Um, and I wanted to say that I am not going to the IETF meeting in Dallas in, in soon, just for your information. That's it for this week. Uh, <laughs> what about next week? Yeah, I'm really trying to land, or I'm going to submit uh, this lovely patch for bug 237623 for Firefox, uh, which is um, it is about, I think it's turning 11 years old soon. Mm, I'll just see, yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> that's about the old uh, download manager thing where content length is not the same as the data you download and blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah, it was filed in, in March 2004. So I have uh, like another month or so before it turns 11. Um, but that's I'm going to I'm going to work on that. I'm, I really want to submit uh, and see if I can land a patch to that soon. And then we're going on with the curl stuff as usual. And yeah, everything is as usual. It's extra dark in here today because we had a lot of snow. So I my ceiling window here is covered with snow, so even if it's uh, 1035 here, it's really dark. I, I put on some all sorts of lights here just to get some better lighting, but I'm sure it looked like crap, and, and so never mind. Um, that's about it for this week. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it Monday next week. Maybe I will succeed, maybe I won't. We'll see. Until next week, next week, I can't talk properly either. So, oh, well, bye.